peace of Christ to all and welcome everybody with answering the Abdul the Muslims speaking about our Bible there is one thing always the Muslims they do their best is to make you believe that Jesus is not God but remember in the worst scenario if the Muslims succeed to fool somebody with such a false statement you cannot find better than Jesus still to follow let us say somebody wanted to convince you that Jesus is not God but he is just a prophet but who in the world is going to follow someone he is a filthy person like Muhammad and leave Jesus anyway so your your work Muslims is going wrong direction and you are going to lose and you are losing ground big time Jesus is not qualified to be God what is the qualification to be God you know the funny is that the Muslims they do not know even what their God said about the qualification to be God but I don't blame them they are Abdul have you ever seen Abdul he understand his religion if we go in the Quran the yellow pages by the way I'm not disrespecting the Quran by calling it the yellow pages the yellow pages is a lot more organized and uh, make more sense as an example you know you go on yellow pages you can find names by letters you can find I mean it's it's a uh, it's it makes sense in the Quran you find the verse speaking about Musa the second verse speaking about Adam the verse after speaking about the fly the verse after speaking about a mosquito the verse after speaking about an elephant you have no idea what those verses speak about but let us see what is the qualification to be God according to the yellow pages of the Quran here we will go to the Quran you see Adam he was really uh, a Christian method usually uh, they try to prove the Muslim wrong by showing from the Bible first the Muslim if you answer him from the Bible for 100 years he is not listening for a very simple reason he is a Muslim the Muslim don't listen even to their own prophet now we can prove it easy so here if we go uh, in the Quran we will find the following Allah himself supposedly the one the Muslims they call him God he put a qualification for who can be considered as God and this is can be found in the front of us in chapter 22 verse number 73 let us see what the yellow pages book saying uh, which is uh, Muhammad Aka Allah saying in this Quran chapter 22 verse number 73 you can click at any funny translation you see in the front of you because all of them they are funny and stupid and far away from the truth but we use them to get the Abdul busted and by the way I saw a Muslim saying to me you are using your funny stupid translation as if it's my translation if I use my translation they will say he's lying if I use the Muslim translation they will say he's lying it doesn't matter what you do they will call you a liar however let us see what their God say which is Muhammad Muhammad is a very smart person and he thought he is you know he is doing the right thing by giving uh, certain answers and those answers always they come in a very weird way which cannot be really I mean uh, this man uh, obviously he don't know what he's talking about uh, this this chapter here in front of us as we see uh, 2273 uh, have four translation in English in this website and we can use any one of them because I don't want the Muslim to say and they can up anyone you can click them all all right as I said all of them they are stupid no exception because translation of the Quran is meant to defend Islam not to translate all mankind a substitute of uh, uh, has been uh, coined so listen to it carefully verily those who the, on, on whom you call beside Allah cannot create even a fly <laughs> okay let us change the translation maybe this guy his translation is stupid I'm not sure I'm not sure if I say stupid it's it's good to say that I think it is fabricated all mankind etc I will click at this one sorry uh, let us go to Big Tal let us go to Shakir okay Shakir mm -hmm. Uh, all people a parable is set forth uh, therefore listen to it surely those whom call upon beside Allah cannot create a fly okay so they should all together gather for it okay 
and should the flies snatch away anything from them and they could not take it back okay so what the God of the Quran here is saying which is Muhammad saying that you cannot even create a fly their God can't create a fly and I find it very funny and very stupid that can your God Muhammad create a fly can he what is the proof nothing nothing you know I can worship now and uh, a refrigerator and say my refrigerator can create a fly hmm. would you have a proof no at least refrigerator is something we saw your God we never saw we don't know who is here nobody know never is been even spoke to Muhammad once so here you will notice something stupid Muhammad saying that the one who can create a fly is worthy of worship but he forgot the idiot of the village Muhammad that Jesus he created not only a fly he created a living bird chapter 3 verse number 49 it says that Jesus he create now the Muslim they will say to you by the leave of Allah okay let me tell you something I am now making fun of Allah by the leave of Allah this is what the Muslims will say but there's no proof of it there's any proof uh, somebody he went let us say uh, yesterday uh, the French team they went against uh, Croatian I can claim right now that this is my will Christian Prince he is the one who made the French will. like what what are you talking about yeah it's my will do you have a proof no so here the stupid Muhammad he forgot that he just mentioned that Jesus he can create from the mud a bird look what it says I have come to you with a sign from your Lord so the Muslim will say see it says from Allah but there's no proof of that what is it proving in the Quran or the Quran confirming that Jesus that I make I make for you out of the clay as it were the figure of a bird and I breathe into it you see here the Abdul did not put but it says I and I breathe into it and it become a living bird here they say by the leave of Allah by the leave of Allah prove it so what it confirmed that Jesus can create the Muslim they claim that Allah created Adam how he created Adam he made the, he fashioned a mud and he you know after he fashioned the mud from the clay made a figure of a person or a whatever bird and then he breathed into it this is exactly what Jesus did now remember the Quran came after Jesus not before Jesus which mean we cannot say that Jesus is copying from the Quran but we can say that the Quran is copying Jesus the Creator so here what is confirmed in the Quran in the book of the yellow pages of Muhammad that Jesus can create from the mud a bird and what all what you need to do just to breathe into it then we notice that Muhammad in the other verse this idiot he said that you know what how you worship a God cannot create a fly so if we can worship if we can find a God who can create a fly that is the qualification and this is the qualification coming from the Quran anyone can create a fly the reason Muhammad he mentioned here a fly is how small you know like it's even even a fly how small it is can can your God create it? But this is stupid, silly. Because creating fly can be more complicated, maybe, from creating a donkey. This is the, the size. Uh, I forgot. In the stamp size, does matter. You know, fly is one of the most complicated creatures. If you if you study them, you see how fast they move, how the energy is consumed. As an example, a fly eat little, but their wings can move thousands of times, uh, 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 in in little distance. So it's amazing like there's no way we can make an airplane one day have the ability capable the same as the fly the fly can land upside down which means in the ceiling the fly can hang anywhere the fly can stand they can move they can they are so extremely fast to the point it's very hard even to beat them so creating a fly is not really a smart choice of Muhammad when he spoke you cannot even create a fly but Muhammad he thinks the size does matter but Jesus created a bird and the one who created create a bird it means he can give life this is what is matter so the qualification for the Abdul who's talking about the qualification of Jesus not to be God it's in your Quran whoever can create life not a bicycle not a bicycle 
You see, your prophet, he mentioned a fly. He did not say create a bicycle. Bicycle is not a creation. It's an idea, a creative idea. That is not life. So here is about creating a living creature. That is the qualification. So stop being fools, Muslims, and respect your God who said, if you can create a fly, then you are worthy of worship. Stop being an idiot and respect your God. Your God is the one who said so. Don't you respect him? Obviously, you don't. Now we go back to this Abdul. This Abdul here, he said, let us move so you can see. Uh, read your Bible, little truth. Okay, let us see. Sudden, uh, suddenly, the Muslim defined the truth in the Bible. Jesus is a man known as a son of man, and perhaps, uh, uh, you know, a prophet, sorry, said that God is not a man, neither the son of man. You see, you are a stupid liar like your prophet. I'm not insulting your prophet. I'm insulting you because I said you are like your prophet. You know what I mean? This is the big insult. I mean, imagine somebody says to me, you are like Muhammad. That's really disgusting. So if we go to the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse number 19, everybody will see that you are a big fat liar like your prophet. Let us go there. Does it say there what this guy is saying? No. Liar, liar will end in fire. Here, you know, we see in the front of us, let us zoom in a little bit. Um, make the text bigger, maybe. All right, that's good. God is not a man that he should lie. So it doesn't say that God is not a man. It says God is not a man who should lie. So God doesn't lie. Man, they do. Man, human being, they do. They are sinners. They are son of Adam. So one of the feature of God that he don't do lie. It's not about him not being a man. Neither the son of man. And here, Abdul said, well, neither the son of man. Do you see? But the stupid idiot, he forgot that Jesus is not the son of any man. And here, this is a very important evidence that Muslims now, they just prove to us that Islam is a stupid religion. Because no Muslim can tell us why in the Quran it says that Adam is born not, he is made from dust. And that explains why he is a son of any man, because he's not born. But Jesus is born from a woman, but yet he is not the son of a man. This Abdul stupid, he will say to you, the Bible says, Jesus, he said, the son of man. This is about him being the flesh, and the flesh not about being bo born of a man. Everybody knows in the Bible and in the Quran that Jesus is not the son of any man. If you don't believe me, we can show you the verses in the yellow pages of the Quran. So if we go here, you know, we will find the Quran saying the following. Chapter 22, verse number 91. And chapter 66, verse number 12, saying the same thing. What it says, let us read together and love. And here we need to ask the Muslims now about the stupidity of this book. Why, why Jesus is a son of no man? You see here, look what it says. That Mary, she guarded her chastity. This is the first translation. It doesn't say chastity. It says guarded her vagina, which is a very savage, you know, language of a filthy man. His name is Muhammad. What kind of a prophet? He say she guarded her vagina. I mean, it's, actually, it's not even vagina. It's the word start with P. You know what I'm talking about, right? So the one who guarded her vagina and we breathe into it. You see here, they put between two bracket into her body. This is a lie. It's not exist. It says a breathe, breathe into it, which means into her vagina. I mean, what kind of a God? He is a vagina kisser and he breathed into vagina. You cannot do better. And the funny, the, the Quran says that uh, uh, Jesus is the same as, uh, you know, Adam. Uh, you know, Adam is created by Allah saying to him, be, and he was. Uh, is that true? This is false. This is stupid. Again, the Quran keep making. Sorry, we have to mention those verses again, again, again. Because sometimes I feel like I'm talking to donkeys. And, you know, donkeys sometimes they are smarter than a human. What you can say. Is if we go here. Chapter 3, verse number 
20, uh, 59 uh, you will see the stupid creator of the Quran says the following that uh, uh, you know this, uh, there is a similarity between Adam and Jesus look what it says uh, that the similarity between Jesus uh, uh, in the front of Allah as Adam he created him from dust but this is stupid he just showed us in the different verse that he did not use dust when he created what he called Jesus or Isa he sent his word to Mary and then he breathed into Mary where is the mud where is the dust he put dust inside her vagina this is stupid idiot donkey I mean go and learn some logic like you know when somebody make a uh, write a novel or a story if you if you don't know it does not match with the with the chat imagine in one chapter you say that I created from dust and the other chapter says no I did not I I sent my word down to Mary and then I breathe into her vagina and then Jesus come to exist oh, this is a different story what is, where is the dust same time you idiot if Jesus is from dust then who is Adam because that means Jesus is the first man that's stupid and that means that Jesus and Adam are the first men at least and both are born not of a woman this is a stupid statement but who you are talking about who about Allah this is the most stupid ignorant person Muslim they call him Allah but it's in fact it's Muhammad he make fabrication and when he speak he do poo poo he don't talk this is why his, to his talk is like a smell so bad it's like a sewage so here we notice if we ask the Muslims who say to us that neither the son of a man what is the real reason that Jesus is the only person who is born yet he is not the son of a man they have no answer that is the reason my friend for his God he is not the son of any man this is why Jesus said I am from above my kingdom is not in this earth so and if we read the rest the Muslim they say to you Jesus uh, uh, knowing that the father had given all things into his hand you see how stupid you are Muslims you just admitted that everything in the hand of the father is in the hand of Jesus I mean what does that mean <laughs> This is what the Christian called the Trinity, you idiot. You just confirmed that Trinity is true. Because if he is just a prophet, a prophet, he did not need to have what is in the hand of God. All what he needs to do is just to deliver a message. But as you see here, Jesus don't have a message. He is the Word himself. You see, if we go in the stupid yellow pages of the Quran, we will find something very funny about Jesus. Uh, I, well, I say funny because Muhammad is a very funny person. When he speaks, he do poo-poo again. Uh, if we go here in the Quran it says all those verses let us move this thing here all those verses in the front of us let's go back chapter 3 verse number 46 chapter uh, 5 1 10 uh, and then uh, here in chapter 19 29 there is a very strange story in this chapter the Jews they speak to Mary about Jesus they question her in other way they are questioning her honor which is very stupid of Muhammad to say because Mary she never been questioned about her honor by the Jews for very simple reason she was engaged engagement in the Judaism religion is equal to marriage so here when the Jews they came to her and the, the Muhammad again he's making a stupid mistake by saying oh sister of Aaron the father your father was not a bad man and your mother was not a whore doesn't say by the way and chest this is stupid translation you see Islam is a stupid religion savage language it says not a whore Bariya. Bariya. It, she is a, she was not a whore uh, another way actually the street language it's not even a whore it's a hooker but she pointed to the baby and they said how he can talk to one who called the child in the cradle the child is in the cradle the woman she just gave birth to him and now Mary she is pointing her finger she been ordered not to talk to fast three days and then when they spoke to her she said nothing except pointing her finger at Jesus they ask asking her the question 
she point her finger and they got they, they, they understood what she's mean she's meaning she said ask him and they said how we can what are you talking about how what are you are you saying to us to, to ask him how can he talk to one who is a child in the cradle he said I am indeed the servant of Allah he has given me a revelation and made me a prophet question how come the stupid Muhammad took him 40 years before he received revelation and when he received revelation he have no idea what this is about a man came to the cave squeeze him tried three times like a mayonnaise and no mayonnaise came out and he keeps saying to him read and Muhammad he go to his wife and he snore and he go like crazy like a cow like a camel and then he go and take him from his hand as if he's a child to her cousin the cousin of the cousin Warqadunofa, which is the real father of Muhammad and then she tell him the story and then the father the father of the, 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 the Muhammad he said to him ah oh, this is must be an angel his name is Zibril he is in charge of delivering secret of God <laughs> so Muhammad he is 40 years old bigger than a donkey bigger than a mule and yet he have no idea what's happening and this is Jesus the child he is just born where is Jibreel where is Jibreel who will come and deliver messages who is the one who delivered this message to this child anyone can tell us not only the child is talking which is an amazing miracle who taught him language he learned it where before he was born after he was born he do not need to be taught he is the word of God you idiot so Jesus in your book is the word of God which means Jesus Christ is the talking walking living word of God so he came to us in the flesh of a man but he is not a man which means God is not a man but he come in the flesh of a man he took a form of a man the likeness of a form of a man the likeness of a sinner which means when you are in the form of a man you are a sinner the second you see a human being this is a sinner there's no question about it unless he is a baby and even babies they commit sin but their sin is not really considered to be sin because they don't know what they are doing as a baby he might uh, stab you with a knife but he don't know what is that you know he have no idea that he just killed you he might play with a gun in front of him and he shoot you but he have no idea that this is was a, 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 a crime of killing because he is just a child you don't know he is not aware this sin is about awareness so here we find that Jesus is not the son of a man and he is the one who have no need of Jibreel to deliver a message to him like the stupid Muhammad who need to be squeezed many times and each time he's, he hears something he act crazy as an example when Muhammad received the message of his God uh, uh, Al-Fatiha which the Muslims they pray five times a day he received it when he was doing poopoo you believe it if you look with me here this is chapter 1 verse number 1 it says how Muhammad he received this revelation from his God how he receive it it says the messenger of Allah uh, whenever he went out which means to do poopoo used to hear someone calling him saying oh Muhammad and whenever he heard this he used to flee <laughs> why <laughs> you know Muhammad he received tons of verses before those verses which means he saw the angel already he spoke to him many times so why he flee this time it was a strange voice a voice with diarrhea because he was doing poop why he flee I mean how stupid it is then again we find the appearance of Waraka. Waraka is the real father of Muhammad and he is the real maker of Islam. Waraka bin Nufa advise him, okay, well next time you hear the voice, stay in your place. Hold on. So when, when Muhammad he heard the voice, he ran, the, the voice cannot follow him. The angel, he is like fixed with the screwdriver in the wall. What do you mean you run away and the voice stop? The angel is going to deliver a message to him. So why he don't follow Muhammad and say to him, hey Muhammad, stop. Why he don't continue? He say, oh Muhammad, and he stop. So, oh Muhammad, and Muhammad, he flee. And the angel, he stop screaming. I mean, this is stupid. So now, Muhammad, he been advised by his doctor, Dr. Waqad Waraq bin Nufal, his real father. And he said to him, next time, Abdul, you hear this voice, you better stop running, you idiot. All right? We need to know what, your, what the, uh, this guy want to say to you. So when he stopped, he said to him, Al-Fatiha. <laughs> so the, the prayer the Muslims they, they pray five times a day received to Muhammad delivered to Muhammad during the area time imagine while Jesus in the Quran 
he spoke when he was in the cradle and then the Quran says that Jesus and Adam are similar which is very stupid because Allah created Adam from mud he never said to him be and he was and he never said Jesus be and he was Allah never created anything neither in the hadith or in the Quran by saying be that is a big stupid mistake of Muhammad showing contradiction because Allah said that he created Adam from a clay and he made a figure of a, of a, of a person and he breathed into where is the bee and the same for Jesus he breathed into the vagina of Maryam and then we have a guy his name is Isa who is Isa by the way let it go so here when the Muslims speak about Jesus cannot be God he just proved to us the opposite then Jesus answered to them uh, my doctrine is not mine but the one who sent me that's wonderful so Jesus he sent them the man in front of you is not the one who provide the authority it is the one who sent the man to you but who is the one who sent the man to you it's the father but who is the father let us see who is he so we can find the Abdul in trouble again okay hold on this thing is appearing from time to time we find Jesus in John chapter 10 verse number 30 says I and my father are one so Jesus when he said the one who sent me he's speaking about the flesh but yet he and the father is one so you see the flesh this is the way you can meet God before nobody can see God and live now uh, unless God he allow it to happen so God he humbled himself he come in the flesh of a man and he called himself the son of a man because he have the likeness of a man but he is a son of no man he is not a man and he is eternal and he is exist always and he is no with no sin and he never commit a sin if we go in the Bible we will find tons of reference about Jesus that he here when he say for God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son the most time they said to us in a previous video the Bible speak about uh, there's many like uh, all the Christians and the, even the Jews they called God our father but it is different my friend we, we are we cannot we don't call ourselves we are the only begotten sons we call ourselves that we are the children of God and obviously the stupid Muhammad he got that wrong because he thought that when we say they are we are the children of God that's mean we are a children because God he have sex with our mother and this is what even he thought about Mary if we go in the Quran you will see this idiot he have a wrong understanding for Christianity to the point he think that God he married from Mary and they have a son so if we go here we will find the Quran saying let us switch to English uh, let's switch Arabic okay you see the one who wrote the Quran have a have a madness and he don't understand what the Christians believe all right read with me here in chapter 4 verse 171 we I mentioned this one many times so let us go to something else all right chapter 6 verse 101 which is funny 101 that's fantastic it says the following and it is shown shown us again that Muhammad is professional idiot stupid mad he have no idea what he's talking about read with me carefully please to him do the uh, uh, the primal origin of the heaven and the earth how can he have a son when he has no concert uh -huh. so Muhammad now trying to refute the Christian says to them ha ha you think that God have a girlfriend her name is Mary <laughs> you know they say in China he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse and that is your prophet if he could not even understand what the Trinity is about and what the Christians believe how you stupid think 
that God of the Christians have a concert he have a girlfriend and to make it more funny Muhammad later he said that uh, you know uh, if he Allah he want to have a wife yeah he will <laughs> but not from the females of the earth from the female of the heaven the virgins well is it Mary a virgin too look at this guy look at this stupid Muhammad Allah how can Allah have a son if you don't have a girlfriend uh -huh. do Allah have a girlfriend let us see what it says it says here in the Quran uh, let us read what does that mean chapter 21 verse number 17 I don't want the Muslim to say he is giving false interpretation so let's go and see what the Muslims believe 21 17 take a note please here we go 21 17 madness stupidity shish kebab welcome to Islam the religion of your camel urine had we desired to find a virgin that would provide the virgin in the way of partner or a child we would found have found it with ourselves ourselves Allah is one Allah is one Allah will find the partner with ourselves how many times you heard the Muslim says we believe in the oneness of gold we believe in the oneness of God oh, Allah he say we it's mean oneness of God it's kind of respect it how what respect he is going to have sex with a partner that is our self that is the oneness of God what is our self how that can be one how he called that how you can call that oneness of God he called himself our self he will have a partner Allah will partner with himself he will have sex with himself he's speaking about having a girlfriend or having a wife which means he want to sleep with her so he can have a child this partner is to provide a child he cannot excuse my language if himself unless that's that's weird that's sick that's really sick I hope not so here let us understand here the Muslims they give us a clear understanding we would have found it in our with ourselves among the beautiful eyed of Huris or the angels <laughs> the possible girlfriend for Allah is not from the earth don't waste your time you have a dating website in the heaven for the Huris how stupid that is yet they say to us that Allah is one Allah is not a man what it's mean that he can have a partner to have a child with the Huri and then they say oh but we don't have a desire who cares if you have a desire right now or not maybe you need to take some bills that will not change the fact that it's possible for you to take a virgin as a wife and who is the one saying that it's him Allah it's not me so it's possible for him but he don't have a desire maybe he have a medicine problem he need to take some Viagra or something right now he don't have a desire but maybe later he will change his food maybe you know so what is confirmed here that Allah cannot be God why because speaking about having a partner which is a wife have you ever heard of God have a wife this is why Jesus don't have a wife so look at Jesus born with no father he is son of no man he never commit a sin he never lie he never did anything wrong he said to them who of you can prove me to be sinner can anyone prove that I am a sinner nobody I am and the father is one Jesus said many things about I am you know Jesus said as an example can anyone of you convict conv uh, convict me of a sin I commit or I commit sin nothing nobody can that's amazing and somebody says to me in different comment you idiot stupid Jesus was holy in the Quran where huh where it says he was holy in the Quran okay now let's just see let us see where in the Quran it says that don't get angry in front of me Abdul take your bells drink camera you're in all right let us see No, hold on. Read with me here carefully. 
chapter 19, verse number 19, it says that Jesus is the Holy Son. He said, Me, I am an only a messenger from the Lord to announce to thee the gift of a Holy Son. Holy Son. Which Son can be holy? My Son, your Son? No. That is Jesus in your Quran. So all the first things you say to me here, trying to play games with the statement in the Bible doesn't make sense unless you are just a person make no sense all those verses is saying that Jesus is God for he is given the authority everything all the authority of God is in the hand of Jesus and you are the one who posed to me the verse everything Jesus knowing that the father had given all things into his hand now, do you see all things given to his hand do you see it eh? oh, God share all things with the person creation healing knowing the future like the Quran says that Jesus he knew the future he can tell you even what you hide in your houses so why Jesus have all those qualifications look name one thing is similar to anyone it's about Jesus nothing nothing death he is alive he is alive for the Christians he is alive for the Muslims Sin, he is holy. We showed you the Quran, chapter 19, verse 19, he is holy in the Bible. Never commit a sin, never commit a crime. He can do what no one can do. And the Bible for you know full of verses about Jesus forgiving sin. Who can forgive sin? Save God. So Abdul, you are wasting your time, and you are proving to us over and over that Christ is your Lord. And again, before I finish this video, it's getting long. Can any Muslim tell us why Jesus is a son of no man in Islam? We know why in Christianity, because supposedly the Christians believe that he is God in the flesh. But he is a son of no man for what reason? Every human being, according to the Quran, is born from a sexual relationship, either by marriage or non-marriage. So why Jesus do not need sexual relationship? Where every human being, including me and you, we, are born of a sexual relationship regardless if it's from marriage or not but the, because that will not make a different a difference except it's the in the in the eye of God is not right but the Quran confirm that everybody is coming from relationship either by marriage or not which mean bisexuality pure sexuality chapter 25 verse number 54 and if you read the interpretation of this verse you will see the Muslims accept that according to this verse if you have a daughter from adultery she is lawful for you to sleep with her why because according to Islam a daughter from adultery she is not considered as a daughter so you can sleep with her mother and her father and, and her and her daughter in the same time which is your daughter from your blood thank you very much for watching please share the video and may the Lord bless you all and Abdul you got busted again and again Thank you. God bless.